Hey everybody, Eric Tate here alongside my good buddy Nick Lacapo, and today we are talking about Deja Voodoo, Dan Harlan. I'm scared. This is a weird trick, man. <laughs> it's not weird, it's a good trick. Oh, it's a great trick. It's a great trick. <laughs> this, is a this is a fun trick uh, that's presented by Dan Harlan. So Deja Voodoo was originally printed in the Minotaur. It was submitted by Didier Dupree, uh, who gave Dan permission to uh, release this effect because it now comes with artwork that is created by Dan Harlan. Uh, that was what the trick was missing to begin with, but it's really, really nice. And speaking of artwork, let's take a look at it. Yeah, so you're going to get, well, we'll kind of show you the cards and we'll do the trick at the same time. Yeah. Eric's going to think of somebody he would like to torture first. Got it. Nick Popa. <laughs> Don't say them out loud. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, you're not going to, it's important that you're thinking of somebody. We're not, they're not actually going to get tortured because no. we have the cure right here. Oh, good. The cure. And this is important. Uh, we're we're going to get back to that in a little bit. But, you know, there are various forms of torture that you can do mm -hmm. with a, a voodoo doll. Ooh. Voodoo, voodoo doll, voodoo doll, voodoo doll. So we have here, you could uh, rip their head off, which would okay. be a formidable uh, way to uh, harm somebody. Maybe like stab them in the gut right there. With a know? tiny little pin. Mm. Uh, rip their leg off. Mm. Yes, terrible, terrible. Get stabbed with a knife. You could burn, burn. Give them the old hot foot. Yeah, the old hot foot. Or uh, maybe another pin, a little pin in the arm there. So anyway, we have various forms of torture, and you're going to, uh, you're going to select one for your, your victim uh, that you're, <laughs> you're thinking of there. Just on a whim, just name a number between one and six. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, good. The knife. The knife. Yeah. Right? You're getting stabbed and spilling their guts, right? Right out, right out here. Now, that's not what would actually happen to Nick Popa. Right? Sure. Well, because, you know, if he, if he messes up this camera shot right here, that's what's going to happen. Right, right. Not really, not really. Now, he'll probably just get, like, you know, like a little, little cramp or yeah. something, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's going to freak him out later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's going to go to Kane's <laughs> later. Anyway. Um, Some deep inside ba Penguin Magic baseball right, right. now. Right. <laughs> You've... Uh, so let's move this one out over here because you could have selected any of these, right? You could have lifted, mm -hmm. ripped their leg off or, you know, ripped their head off or stabbed them in the hand with a pin or their, burned their other leg there. But no, you chose to spill their guts. But don't worry, Nick's going to be okay because, like I said, we have the cure here, which is the one card that actually matched exactly where you chose oh, so good. to uh, hurt your friend. Okay, so... This is a great trick uh, for a couple different reasons. One, the artwork is really charming. I mean, it's artwork's like, really fun. It's not often that you get to like do a trick with voodoo dolls, mm -hmm. but like it's like it's fun. Like everyone, everyone looks at these and, and it's you know it's really good. But the really cool thing is that the method has been boiled down. So there's no spelling. There's no equivocate. It's just they name them numbers. Yes. And, then, and you, it's it's there. It's really good. This is. This is, it, we're doing the hot rod for us. Yes. But it has been completely fixed. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is the way to do the hot rod for us, quite frankly. I mean, I mean you, 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 you're going to be fascinated with how this works. Yeah. Because, the, like, like Eric mentioned, there's, there is no spelling mm -hmm. at any point. Every selection, one through six, is completely fair, where you're just simply counting to the thing, mm -hmm. right? There's a couple things here that you didn't see, mm -hmm. right? Um, th because there's just two extra little pieces to this that that make this hot rod force something that you've never seen before. It's the kind of thing that once you see it, and you're gonna you're gonna basically you're gonna be able to take this and apply this to any other. You could create your own cards if you didn't want to do the voodoo theme, but you wanted to do something with like presents or like right. uh, for Christmas themed, or mm -hmm. maybe like. Uh, I don't know if you if you want to like choose different countries for a flag day representation. Yeah, or something. It's, it's there's a, there's a lot. There's, it's really really fascinating. It's a combination of the specific pictures that are chosen. Don't have to be voodoo dolls, but mm -hmm. you know uh, the way that that's designed, and then also the backs of the cards. Yeah. Right. So there's um, there are some other options, but they are just so much better yeah. than the original. You know, spelling O N E or mm -hmm. you know one, one two three four yeah. that type of thing. It's so. real clever. It's this is something you're gonna want to hang. You know, yes. Throw yeah. it throw in your uh, your wallet uh, so that you can just sort of do with the drop of a hat. The cards are really nice. Uh, you know, the it's good cardstock, good nice and quality. So you're not like you're not gonna feel bad messing around with these. Uh, and you know, the artwork is fun. It's like Dan Harlan. Said. 
Dan Harlan puts together some really cool stuff. Yeah, Stan, Stan, yeah. It's, it's brilliant. It's great. Yeah. So, uh, Deja Voodoo by Dan Harlan. You should check it out.